Hey guys, it's Kathy from HealthyHappyLife.com and I'm having a little moment. So I just wanted to take a minute and share it with you guys. Hi guys, it's Kathy from HealthyHappyLife.com and today we're gonna be doing a really yummy recipe that's perfect for the holidays. And today we're gonna make it even more green by adding in this. This is the green dream. Yeah. <laughs> green dream. Green dream. And tonight we're gonna be getting cozy with our holiday festivities. And you don't have to go out to have like an amazing holiday night. You can just stay in. So today we're gonna make it in my kitchen, so let's go. <laughs> sorts of non-green foods. <laughs> yes, beige food. Beige. Mm -hmm. Beige. Yellow. Sugar covered. Cookies. Sugar. All the stuff that you don't want to devour. My fix for that is to make myself a nice little green smoothie before I go out to the party. <gasps> Your blog has more than a million views a yes. month. How did it get so widely popular? You know, I started at a time when blogs were just starting mm -hmm. and vegan was like just starting to be hot. <laughs> now it. everybody's sort of curious. So I started at a really good time and I really focus on food photography. Well, I've been blending like my entire life. I, in the book I actually tell a funny story about when I was in seventh grade they said, teach the class something you know how to do. And I was like, I'm gonna blend this with That's awesome. <laughs> You're a so, blender kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I brought my blender to, to school and I stole it from my parents' kitchen. <laughs> it's like show and tell. I bet my kids will do that. Yeah, <laughs> they're gonna come in with their philosophy. Yeah. So make yeah. their I know smoothie. how to blend a smoothie and yeah. do yoga. Yeah. <laughs> Hot cocoa is one of those things that goes along with the holidays. You have to have it at least a couple times in December, maybe every day if you like me. I've used a lot of frozen ingredients and I just find that frozen melon has this very unique frosty texture that I just love. Makes it like real. <laughs> and you're like, wow, that's exactly what I would put in my smoothie if I were to get like five different scoops. Nice and warm. <gasps> <laughs> I like this one because it's large enough so that you get a nice sized cookie and a star is just so festive. You can use it all the way from November. Like a milkshake. Yeah, yeah a milkshake. you can see the frostiness mm -hmm. from that watermelon. That's That's a secret ingredient. Yeah, yeah. I know. Good to know. Yeah. Have to yeah. try that. Like the middle of the hill, they have those like lodges, and the hot cocoa is like it's probably from a packet. It's not even good. It was like scalding hot, and I'd always burn my my tongue. But just when you're like freezing cold, mm -hmm. and you're like so excited to have like chocolate and a styrofoam cup, <laughs> that is my. I just remember that, and I want to do that now. <laughs> it's all about the experience yeah. around it. A little bit left. So my husband like snivel them straight from the bag. Sometimes they look and they're all gone, except for like three. <laughs> like, why didn't you just throw away the bag? Um, I'm not usually one to eat healthy or drink healthy here, but this is fantastic. Yes. I'm gonna <laughs> taste the orange. Yeah, yep. If you're already blending green smoothies, you know yeah. you're thinking about health and nutrition. So why not add in just a step super it up. boost? Yeah. And this step is it up the way to do it. I'm going to use half of this large onion. I love onions. I don't know how they got a bad rap. <laughs> no onions. I don't want onions on anything. I love them. I think they're so flavorful and crunchy and zesty. So instead of like getting clumps of the chocolate, it's just completely smooth and blended. So that's really another benefit to blending your cocoa. That's so cool. Oh, wow. Double dip them, triple dip them. Put as much dip on them as you want for the chocolate part. <laughs> Hold it with your hands, Kathy. <laughs> That's the magic of the coconut oil. It just becomes rock solid when it gets chilled. So it's great for like really quick raw desserts. Wow. Really good. I'm going to touch more. <laughs> it's all about that texture. Mm -hmm. If you don't have the texture, it doesn't taste as good. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. It's nice to have a green smoothie without having to have the green. You potentially add the peppermint stick to any of these smoothies. Uh -uh. No? <laughs> no? There are some that it no, just no, no. It's not going to go with the spicy radish cooler. Yeah, probably, probably not. Yeah. Probably no. Not. Yes. 
Yeah. Yeah. Any like chocolate smoothie? Yep. You're really. Looks and beautiful. Looks wonderful. Yeah. Now, do you see this as a meal replacement ever, or is this just kind of a snack? I use my smoothie a day as my lunchtime smoothie. No, no fear in adding an entire avocado to your salad. You can get my book. It's a starter kit. There's tons of tips and ingredient lists and just so many smoothie facts. Yeah. And do And it smells smell. like sugar cookies. Yeah. It's not. It just smells oh like Oh my god. And, and you, you can eat it too. Oh, you could totally eat it. I would eat yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> I just did. <laughs> this little owl was on clearance. A little snack jar owl for only three bucks. So obviously I had to get him because he's very cute. He's devoured the whole thing. <laughs> and you won't want to leave your house because they're so cute. And we can get this recipe in this book? Is it no. in there? <laughs> this you is an exclusive no. recipe. Yes, this is exclusive to you guys. And then we're gonna add in some ginger. Just a little bit, it's really good for digestion. Adds a nice, warm, spicy kick to it any smoothie. So it smells amazing. We're just gonna start tossing. Tossing the spinach, avocado, the onion. You can really smell that tahini. Got the banana. So refreshing. Sweet berries mm. from the berry bliss. There was no actual berries, but yeah. it, does. <laughs> it does taste like berries. I was like, wait a minute. Yeah. Never mind. It does though. It's the acai, the, the goji berries. The watermelon makes mm -hmm. it super frosty and it's so refreshing on like a warm spring or summer day. These are really sweet. <laughs> like really good sweet. Sister. <laughs> 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 